Hello everyone and welcome to another installment of the Coin Dictionary. I'm Woo Hoo and today I've got for you a 1959 Netherlands Antilles one cent coin to talk about. We'll go over the history, the value, the basics, and any other pertinent information about this coin. So let's get started. Uh, on the obverse, we see a crowned lion holding a sword and seven arrows in front of a striated bottom with some escutcheons borrowed from the Dutch uh, coat of arms. It says around the outer rim, Nederlands Antillen, uh, and the year of mintage, 1959, down below. Uh, that, of course, refers to the Netherlands and Tillies. If we turn this over to the other side, we see the denomination one cent encircled by a wreath. Uh, these were minted at the Utrecht Mint in the Netherlands, as uh, evidenced by this mint mark over here, which kind of looks like the uh, the caduceus, the uh, the, the medical uh, emblem, uh, which was which has minted Dutch coins between the year 1010 and the year 2020. Uh, these coins were produced between 1952 and 1970 during the reign of Queen Juliana. Uh, who reigned the Netherlands between 1950, uh, 1948 and 1980, I should say. Uh, it's a bronze coin that weighs 2.5 grams, 19 millimeters in diameter, 1.23 millimeters thick with a reeded edge, as you can see right there. Now, it should be pointed out that uh, these are not the Netherlands, strictly speaking. The Netherlands Antilles were uh, several island territories located in the Caribbean Sea, uh, consisting of Saba, St. Eustatius, St. Martin, Aruba, Bonaire, and Curaçao. However, in 1986, Aruba seceded from the Netherlands Antilles and became their own uh, country. And following the dissolution of the Netherlands Antilles in 2010, uh, Curaçao and St. Martin became autonomous countries within the kingdom. 1959 has a mintage of 1 million even, which is comparable with other years of this particular date run. In circulated condition, it can run between a 50 cent coin to $2.50. Uh, the mint state grades uh, range from $3.50 on the low end to $10 on the high end. Uh, there were 250 proof coins minted for this particular year. Those, according to NGC's price guide, are worth about $100. Anyway, Hope that cleared up some information about this coin, and I'll see you next time when I've got another coin to talk about. I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching the video. My name's Christian, and I own The Coin Dictionary, and I'd also encourage you to visit us at our website, thecoindictionary.com, and on Instagram at thecoindictionary. And I'd also like to draw your attention to some other helpful coin resources, such as my other YouTube channel, Treasure Town, which does more in-depth videos about coins and collectibles, as well as some resources like coinmeltprice.com, which shows up-to-date precious metals pricing, as well as the melt values of the coins that you own, coinsmetalscards.com, which will both be a marketplace and a new source for coins, metals, and cards, as the name suggests, as well as whatsthegrade.com, which will develop into a stickering service for already graded collectibles. Have a great day, and I hope to see you on some of our other videos.